Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi will visit Assam ahead of the assembly elections in the state today. After landing at the Lokpriya Gopinath Bordoli International Airport in Guwahati, the Congress leader will visit the regional party office and address a rally in Nagao district as soon as he wraps up the Silcha visit on the same day. It is expected that Rahul is likely to attack the Modi government once again in his address. Soon after getting bail on Thursday evening, JNUSU President Kanhaiya Kumar entered the campus and addressed a gathering of students at the university campus amid noisy celebration by hundreds of students and teachers. In his not so long speech, he attacked the Narendra Modi led union government and the RSS for allegedly creating a chaotic environment in the country. India will pay its honor to the security forces that are responsible for monitoring and securing huge borders from enemies. The country will be commemorating the National Security Day on Friday and pay tributes to the martyrs who sacrificed their lives so that 1.25 billion can sleep peacefully. It is expected that all the three chiefs of the Indian Army, Indian Air Force and Indian Navy will pay their tributes along with President Pranav Mukherjee and Union Defence Minister Manohar Parikar later in the day. Famous Bollywood actress Urmila Matonkar tied the knot with Kashmir-based businessman modern Mohsin Akhtar Mir in a quiet ceremony on Thursday. The wedding was solemnized as per Hindu rituals at Urmila's residence in Mumbai. Indian cricketer Robin Uttapa tied the knot with tennis player Sheetal Gautam on Thursday. The 30-year-old cricketer who plays for Kolkata Knight Riders in IPL took to Facebook to share the news of his wedding with Sheetal Gautam. Indian cricketer Irfan Pathan and Bollywood actress and KKR co-owner Yuhi Chawla were among the prominent people present at the event.